I can't put my arms down. I'm so stressed. I think Sir Jorah's gonna die. I really do. I really do. I'm so confused right now. That doesn't even make sense! Well, that, that, that's a shame that those were your last words, bro. Oh, wow, where did they get all this lettuce from? Guys, save the food, okay? Winter is coming. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we are getting back into more Game of Thrones. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving into the last few episodes for season five of Game of Thrones. This series has definitely been flying by so far. I can't believe we're gonna be into the sixth season here pretty soon and there's only eight seasons of this show. I know when I started on this journey, people were worried that I was not gonna be able to power through it fast enough, but I've been really making an effort to not linger too much and not take my time too much because I know what a monumental journey this has been. So far, I've really enjoyed the show. I will say this season, I'm definitely seeing some interesting choices being made. And I know from what I've heard from Tyler and from what I've read a little bit, that apparently this season they start to depart from the books a little bit. And I believe that season six, seven, and eight, they're not going off of the books at all. It's completely just the writers for the show. So I am starting to see some choices being made that I don't know if they make sense to me. One such choice that I do want to speak on because I didn't really touch on it in the last video. I don't really understand why Sansa kind of didn't stick up for herself a bit more in the marriage with Ramsay, mainly because that marriage is so beneficial to him. It's solely so that the people of the North will kind of rally around the Boltons and hopefully respect them. Sansa could, I believe she could have so much more power in that relationship. And granted, Ramsay's psychotic, he's horrible, he's evil. But I feel like Sansa as a character was doing better. She was kind of learning to not trust people around her and learning to kind of carry some power for herself. And then we just downslid right back down into this weak and vulnerable place. And I hate to see that from her. I kind of wish that she would just tell Ramsay to F off. <laughs> Even if it means he's going to hurt you more. I mean, he can't kill you because he needs you. So um, I, I don't know. I personally don't really enjoy the progression that I've seen for her. I feel like she's regressed in the last couple episodes. I also have heard that there are some characters like Sir Barristan who apparently don't die in the books or at least haven't died in the books in the way that he died in the series. And I, I do think that seeing things like that and hearing about how the books are starting to differ from the series. Um, I did think Sir Barristan's death was kind of just sad, and I feel like he deserved better. And I do say that with a lot of characters, but hearing that he didn't really die in the books, or at least not at this point, makes me wonder why they would have killed him. <laughs> so I'm starting to see some decisions being made that I don't necessarily agree with, but I'm still invested in this world, and I'm still invested in these characters, and I feel like the stakes are only gonna get higher as we near the finale for this show because we've touched a bit on White Walkers, but we've kind of not seen them in a while. We haven't seen any White Walkers or any zombies in a really long time. And winter is definitely coming. Snowstorms have been starting in the north. So I have a feeling that uh, it's going to get pretty scary here soon. Even the thumbnail for this episode does have a White Walker in it. And I will admit for the last few episodes, I've been wondering if we're ever going to see them again. I don't like seeing White Walkers. They freak me out, especially zombies. Just in general, I hate zombies a lot. But for story purposes, I am happy that they're finally coming back around because I do think we're at a point where we need to see them again. It's been a while and this is definitely a real threat to all the people in this world. I did really enjoy the way the last episode ended with Cersei getting thrown in jail, finally having some karma thrown her way because she deserves it, let me tell you. I do have a feeling that she's not gonna stay in jail for too long though, because I feel like that would just be a boring way for her to go. She's such a formidable character. 
in the way she carries herself, not necessarily in the power that she actually possesses. I do think Tyrion was right in saying that she's smart, but not as smart as she thinks she is. I just kind of have a feeling that she will make it out of jail at some point. I just, I can't imagine her just fading away in prison. That doesn't seem like, I mean, maybe, maybe she will. I don't know. She has committed a lot of horrible acts, so maybe that is exactly the way that she's supposed to go. But I am curious. And all in all, I'm happy to see characters colliding, uh, specifically Tyrion and Daenerys. I'm really excited to see what happens with them and what happens with Ser Jorah. I, unfortunately, now that he has that disease, I do think that he's just going to die. And um, it makes me sad because I do like Ser Jorah. It's really interesting seeing characters that we've developed a caring for and have become invested in and... Now we're seeing them collide with each other, and I do think that that's fun. Definitely leads for some messy moments, and I'm excited to see what the last few episodes of this season have in store. So with all that being said, I think we should just hop right into it. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. Oh boy, here we are. I want to you say You will not speak. Oh. So you want to advise me? What would you have me do with him? Oh boy. He's in love with you, I think. Yeah. Tyrion is so on it, man. He's so smart. Remove Ser Jorah from the city. Poor Ser Jorah. Should have never spied on her, dude. Or you should have admitted it the second you did. But I, I understand why you didn't either. I was just kind of hoping we'd escape this and it would just get pushed under the rug. I feel so bad for him. And now is he just going to die and turn into a stone man? Oh no, it's spreading. Is this his fate? Are we ever going to see Ser Jorah again? Like, I have so many questions about him. My name is Lana. I'm an orphan. Oh, she's learning how to lie. Ooh. What will she do there? She will see. This guy is so mysterious. This many-faced god, he's so mysterious. I love the way he speaks in the third person. Because he's maintained it the whole f***ing show. Austin's clowns and cockles! What are cockles? Sounds so wrong. You wouldn't lie to an old man, would you? Oh, yes, she would. Who is this man? Why does he matter? The man is a gambler. Oh, he bets. A destitute woman and her small child. What can they do to such a man if he keeps their money for himself? Oh, is that what he did? So she did go out to poison him. A girl named Lana will return to the docks. A gift for the thin man. Oh, she's progressing. She's going to learn how to kill people in a whole bunch of different ways. The thing about this that's so extra scary is that, oh, she's smiling. She likes it. She dark, man. The only thing that's nerve wracking is like, uh, you don't want to get caught poisoning somebody. Oh, we're back at Winterfell with Reek. If it weren't for you, I'd still have a family. Y you do. He didn't kill your brothers, though. But also, yeah, he did betray your oldest brother, and that set some horrible stuff off. I deserve to be Reek. I did terrible things. Mm -hmm. is, is Sansa gonna figure out? Is he gonna- Killed those boys. They weren't those boys, they were Bran and Rickon. He's gonna admit that it wasn't Bran and Rickon, isn't he? They weren't, they were only- Only what? Oh boy. Tell me that they weren't your brothers! They weren't Bran and Rickon! <gasps> He's admitting it. We have enough food for six months. Enough food for six months, oh boy. Winter's coming! Everybody's gonna starve in this winter. Everybody's gonna die, I'm sure of it. Maybe Arya will survive the winter. <laughs> Better we not sit and wait for Stannis to decide what sort of fight this is going to be. These are just leaving Winterfell? A smart commander does not abandon a defensive attack. Yeah, I completely agree. Winterfell is a great fortress. I don't need an army. You should listen to Ramsay. Let him go. Oh no, he's gonna ambush, do an ambush attack? Ugh, I want Ramsay to die so bad, but he probably won't because he's such a prick. Look at these two having a glass of wine together. This is great. I love this. Someday, if you decide not to execute me, I'll tell you all about why I killed my father. And on that day, should it ever come, we'll need more wine than this. <laughs> I love Tyrion, man. Why did you travel to the far side of the world to meet someone terrible? To see if you were the right kind of terrible. I like that he's pushing back on her. She needs it. She needs people in her, in her ranks that push back on her and challenge her ego a little bit. This is good. So if I'm not going to be murdered and I'm not going to be banished... You're going to advise me. Holy sh while you can still speak in complete sentence. <laughs> Just confiscating the wine, though. That's a bummer. <laughs> I love this. I love this demo. Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell. They're all just spokes on a wheel. I'm not going to stop the wheel. She's going to tear it down? What's she, what's she I'm going to break the wheel. Break the wheel? With dragons, huh? 
How are you going to break the wheel? I feel like if you want to rule, you're still on top of the wheel. Oh my God, we're back with this guy? Sir Jorah. He's giving his money he back? He said whoever wins will fight to the great pit in front of the queen. Oh, he's still trying to be in front of the queen. Oh God, that's all he wants to do. His whole life is about Daenerys. He's just lost all other meaning because he loves her. Oh, good. I want more John. Oh wow, here they are. Oh boy, they're all looking at him in his crow jacket. Do you get down on your knees and suck his Oh Jesus, Dorman does not like that. Oh dude, well that, that that's a shame that those were your last words, bro. Well, Lord of Bones, you're about to be nothing but a bag of bones. All right. Where is Mons? Oh, did they not know that Mance died? They didn't know, oh shit. I put an arrow through his you're heart. Not, that's what you're saying? Torment. Torment, say, quickly, speak up for him. Why did, John, why did you, why are you saying that you killed him like that? That's not really what happened. John, you're such an idiot. His arrow was mercy. Exactly. You should have led, you're a bad storyteller, John. <laughs> Making me stressed. He's prettier than both my daughters, but he knows how to fight. I like how they always call him pretty. Also, I didn't know you had daughters, Torment. Where are they? My ancestors would spit on me if I broke bread with a crow. So would mine, but they're dead. I like her. Yeah. Keep that new life you want to give us. Oh boy, he's not on board. I figured this guy wouldn't be on board. I think this, you're making the wrong decision, dude. But I'm not surprised, to be honest, because your people have been pricks this whole time. A lot of them are not about it. Okay, only some of them will be. I f hate Thens. Yes, the Thens, that's what they're called. Me too, I hate them too. They're awful. They're, they're really the worst tribe. You listen to her. Oh God, oh no. Oh, she's got daughters. Oh no, someone's gonna die. I don't like this. Is she gonna die? Is their mom gonna die? I don't like this. Why do I feel like this is about to die? Cause I like her and she's got two adorable daughters. Why is she, she was looking at her daughters like she knew it was goodbye. Why does, how come she's not going? Are White Walkers coming? Cause I did see White Walkers in the thumbnail and we're 52 minutes into this episode. So I bet it's White Walkers. Oh yep, a storm is coming. Oh God, what timing, what unbelievable timing. Oh, this girl's totally gonna die. The gates, what gates? You have gates? Are you gonna lock your own people out? You're locking your own people out. They're all gonna be turned. Oh no, there's so many people that are gonna be turned. Oh no, the army just got so much bigger. They were too late. Are you kidding me? This then is about to die. It's gonna be a jump scare, isn't it? I'm scared. Now they're zombies, now they're zombies, yep. Wow, that happened so fast. They were all turned so fast. Oh, they're gonna swim. Oh, they're all gonna get hypothermia and die. Oh no. Do we not have enough space on the boats? Oh, they're climbing over the roof. Oh, giant, you better not let them kill you, dude, because if they have a white wa a zombie giant, that's really bad. She's totally gonna die because we got invested in her and we said goodbye to her kids. What are you guys gonna do? What's he gonna do, John? You can't fight them all off. Oh, God. I have chills again. I love watching him lead battles. <laughs> It's like my favorite thing ever. It doesn't matter if you kill them all, John. What is the point? Oh my God, Tormund better not die because Tormund's the glue that's holding them all together. Oh, not her, not her, not her, not her. She's gonna die. She's totes gonna die. I've gotten so invested in her in one episode. Oh, there they are. Oh, the leaders. Those are who you really have to stop. They're the ones controlling the puppets. Oh my God, this is so high stakes. I wasn't expecting this. I knew we were gonna see White Walkers, but I didn't think we were gonna have a full-blown battle where I'm worried about a lot of people dying, mainly Torment. I know John's not gonna die in this, but what's that? No f way. Oh God. Oh, they look so horrifying. Oh, the Then's gonna face off. Is the Then finally gonna do something that is gonna make me like him? Oh, he's not even phased. Okay, maybe this Then will die this way. Holy f Oh no, it's turning him into a zombie. Oh no, John. John! F***ing Christ. Oh, the music is so intense, you guys. This music is, is horrible. Oh f***ing Christ. Oh God, oh God, the sound design for this is amazing. His sword's about to break, his Valyrian steel sword. John, 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 John. Is Tormund gonna have to save him? Valyrian steel, yes! Valyrian steel works? Are you f kidding me? Dragonglass and Valyrian steel. 
Oh no, this oh this guy's the king. Look at his spiky head. He was totally the one that turned the baby in that one episode, isn't he? He's watching Jon Snow. What? Did they get her daughters? Are those just are those her daughters or are those just kids? She's not gonna be able to do it. Were those her daughters there? Her daughters escaped, but those were just kids, right? Come on, John, it's time to go. Screeching, that's lovely. John, you gotta get out of here. Oh, what? <laughs> that was horrifying. Oh, Tormund's gonna die. Run! Stop looking at it! Run! Oh my god, they're f***ed, you guys. They're f***ed. I'm worried about everything. I'm so anxious. I've never had more anxiety in my body while watching one of these episodes. Like, I can't put my arms down. I'm so stressed. Here's the king. All right, Mr. Spiky Head dude. Oh no, what's he gonna do? He's looking back at his people. Is he gonna point or something? I'm nervous. Oh no. What does that mean? Is he rising all the newly dead? Is that what he's doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, he really doesn't let them take a, a break. Oh, it's her. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh my God, like look how close they are to the shore still. This is just weird. Oh my God, it's just silent. Wow. I must say that the sound design for that episode was absolutely brilliant. I was so uncomfortable and terrified the whole time. Holy moly. Is this Stannis' army? Oh God, this is so bad. What is she doing? What did you see in the fire? How did she know that was gonna happen? Oh, she didn't. Oh, she didn't know. She must've just had a sense. This is Ramsay's ambush, isn't it? Is this Ramsay's ambush? The horse. Oh, really? Did we have to see that? Really, HBO? We had to see that. That was traumatizing. God damn it, I hate Ramsay, man. Oh my God, did they make it to the wall already? Oh God, now he's gotta get them to let them through and oh boy. Do the right thing, dude. For once in this show, do the right thing. Open the gates. Good, ugh, thank you. Ollie doesn't like John anymore. Yeah, oh boy, whatever. You know, Ollie is gonna be bigoted. He's chosen to be that way. He's gonna either grow up and learn the hard way or he's gonna be resolved in his ways. Roger, I'm sending you back to Castle Black. What? Perhaps Queen Silius and Princess Shireen could accompany me. Oh, he wants to protect Shireen. My family stays with me. I am nervous for Shireen. What's this one now? Oh, he's gonna say goodbye to her. But why am I getting a present? Because he's leaving you. And this might be goodbye forever. I just don't have a bad feeling about Shireen. I feel like she's gonna die. Oh, you can tell he's so, wor he's so worried about her. And I just, I love Sir Davos because he's like the only one that treats this little girl with respect and love. I mean, Stannis clearly loves her, but he's just kind of cold and standoffish. But Sir Davos just really just, oh, I love him. Many in Dorne want war, but I've seen war. This guy is smart. He's like, listen, I don't want war. <laughs> I like him. I also heard in the books, you guys can correct me, I think Tyler told me this, that the people of Dorne supported Daenerys. And that was another reason they wanted to keep Marcella because they liked her, but they also knew that if they had her, the Lannisters wouldn't come and attack them. I cannot disobey my king's command. She will return with you to King's Landing. Oh my God. With Oberyn gone, Tristane will take his place on the small council. Tristane? Wow. No wonder you can't stand. You have no spine. You are mother to four of my nieces. For their sake, I hope you live a long and happy life. Speak to me that way again, and you won't. What a beautiful thing to say right before he threatens her. I like this guy, man. Ugh, him and Oberyn. Great family line. <laughs> oh, it's this guy. Is she nervous? Oh my god, she's gonna murder him. We're gonna watch her assassinate somebody. Potentially. Wait, what is she looking at? Who is it? Oh, it's Sir Marin. She recognizes him? Oh, she's got her, she wants to poison him instead. She's just following them with a cart. Oh my God, she's gonna disobey her instructions and murder somebody else, isn't she? The Tyrells can all rot in hell. Sir Marin Trant, you are just always miserable and insufferable, aren't you? Arya's still following with the seafood. Arya, I don't think he wants your clams. <laughs> I think you gotta try another tactic. It's kind of hilarious to be selling seafood in a brothel. They <laughs> say weird. oysters get the juices flowing. They do say that. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really want shellfish. I'm so surprised she's made it this far. She's fearless. Too old. Oh, so you're a pervert. Okay. Because she is not old at all. She's lovely. 
Oh, did they just pull this baby girl off the street? This is disgusting. Good. <sighs> You'll have a fresh one for me tomorrow. Is it gonna be Arya? Is she gonna volunteer herself as tribute so that she can murder him? I'll have you whipped, girl. Go, go on. Maybe it won't be Arya. I don't think that woman is too fond of her. The thin man wasn't hungry today. Oh, she lied. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I wonder if he knows that she lied, but he didn't call her out on it. He must know. It's because she didn't forget who she is. She couldn't forget how she wants to kill Marin Trent. I believe in second chances. I don't believe in third chances. He's forgiving to her because he knows his brother loved her, but I just, I don't know if I would be. Because the acts that she committed would have started a war. And I don't think she, I think she's bloodthirsty. Like, I think she's just gonna be crazy and keep doing crazy I know your daughter had no part in the terrible thing that happened to the man I love. Perhaps even you are innocent of that. Wow. I, like, thought she was gonna have some sort of demonic twist there. She didn't. Maybe she's really learning to move on. Because she has to. I'm not used to seeing her so, like, not threatening and sassy. So the choosing sides that made everything so horrible. Aww. Sometimes a person has to choose. Is he asking her whether or not he should sacrifice her? <laughs> like, what he should do for the war? You don't even know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. It does matter, Shireen. No, Shireen, it does matter. Stannis, I'm gonna hate you for the rest of this series, I swear to God. Forgive me. They're gonna burn her alive. They are not gonna burn her alive. Wouldn't his whole army just wanna desert him after this? This doesn't even make sense. I would desert him after this. This is where the tears are gonna begin. Where's my father? Father, where are you? Don't let her do this! Stannis, you can't. I am an. <laughs> Lord of Light, show us the Mother. way! Mother, please! <sighs> Mother! I can't. Finally, she's acting like a mom. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. How are these soldiers not all deserting right now? Oh, my God. Finally, she's finally trying. But, like, it's too late, you dumb <sighs> And she's just smiling like a psychopath. Yeah, you dumbass. You dumbass. You drank this Kool-Aid and you made your daughter suffer. You guys are all horrible. And I don't even want him to be king. No. All for- what was that for, really? To be king? I hope your whole army deserts you, you worthless piece of <laughs> Sir Davos ha is gonna abandon him. I- if Sir Davos hears about this, he's gonna abandon him. I hope he hears about it before asking for all those resources from Castle Black. Oh, here we are. I know we're gonna see dragons at some point because I saw a dragon in the thumbnail. Is Sir Jorah gonna show up at this battle, too? I mean, clearly, her dragon is gonna show up at some point. Oh, she doesn't like this. She doesn't want them fighting and dying for her. She doesn't like this at all. Poor Daenerys. She really, this is so not her. She hates this. Oh, she recognizes his voice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You're going to make her clap for this, Sir Jorah? Jesus Christ. Poor Khaleesi. You just can't get rid of this guy. Oh, she's going to do it. Is Sir Jorah about to die like this? Oh God. And t oh, Tyrion's invested too because he likes Sir Jorah. Oh God. Oh, okay, he got the first one. It's really impressive that she's really not reacting that much because like I'm over here like, oh my God. Ah! She's trying so hard to just like be stoic. Oh, he's good with swords. I get the picture. All right. Oh no, this is, this is it. I think Sir Jorah's done. <laughs> Oh, and she doesn't like this either. Oh my God. Well, that guy ended it for him. I think Sir Jor is gonna die. I really do. I really do. Sir Jor! <gasps> oh, they're booing because they wanted the other guy to win. They didn't want the Westerosi knight to win. Sir Jor, be careful. He's moving a lot. He killed an assassin right behind her. There was an assassin. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh my God. Oh, so even reopening the fighting pits didn't make it better. These people, this city is just, oh my God. Oh my God. How are they gonna get her out of this madness? Her dragon's gonna show up, isn't he? This is horrible. Come with me. I know I'm out. I know I'm out. No. Oh, he got killed. Why did he get killed? Oh, Sir Jorah's helping. Oh, geez. Oh. This breaks my heart. T Tyrion! Natalie Emmanuel! 
Tyrion saved her! Are you kidding me? This is insane. They are so organized with this slaughter and they snuck in with masks on? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Tyrion, keep up, dude! This is where the dragon's gonna come in. Where is the dragon? Oh my god, the suspense is really building. He's come to save her, her baby. Has her baby come? The only one that's free, because she locked the other two away and that was her mistake, I think. Yes, Drogon! Drogon came to save her! Oh, this is so beautiful! I know you guys think it's so silly that I get all emotional and worked up over the dragons, but I just love animals more than people. Even if those animals are mythical and CGI and completely fake, I still just love them more than people. Yes! Uh, good boy, Drogon! Yes! No! Drogon! Please get him out of here! No! No! Get on his back! Hurry! Take off the spears right away with him! Get him out of this! She's doing it! She's doing it! She's doing it! She's doing it! Yes! Yes! She's yes! Oh, good job! Her poor baby. You gotta set the other two free, Daenerys. This is what you've been doing wrong this whole time. I just hope these guys don't get captured down here on the ground. Wow. That was a great ending. You know, it's so interesting because that almost feels like a finale for the season, but we still have one more episode and I, I, don't, I don't know what else could happen <laughs> unless we just see White Walkers again. The Lord has shown me Bolton Banner's burning. You will receive what is yours by right. He's not exactly happy with you, although, I mean, I, I don't have sympathy. I just don't even want to see these guys anymore. I mean, I hate the Boltons too, but uh, this just sucks. The men. Many deserted. Exactly. Because you burned your daughter. I figured people were going to desert. This is exactly what I wanted. Ha ha. Serves you right, you piece of shit father. What is it? <laughs> she killed herself. Oh my god. Yeah, she, yeah, yep. Look at what you started, Stannis. Look at what you started. I'm happy she couldn't live with the grief. She, she did absolutely nothing for her daughter the whole time she was living. The Lady Melisandre was just seen riding out of camp. She's fleeing. Wow. Did she just ruin the whole operation? On to Winterfell. Oh boy, Stannis. Oh boy, Stannis. Oh boy. Send me. Gilly and the baby to Old Town, so I can become a maester. I need you here, son. Oh no. It's the only person he has. If Gilly stays here, then she'll die. And I'll end up dying too, trying to protect them. I mean, he's right. This sets a rough precedent, though. Because he's going to let his friend go, and then everyone's going to be like, What? You just take taking requests for people to leave now? Because all these people were sent to the wall. None of them want to be here. Except for John. John's the only volunteer. To your return. To my return. Oh boy. None of them are on horses. Were all the horses taken by those who deserted? I mean, I guess they lost some of the horses in that attack too. Oh God. She trying to pick the lock? Oh my God. She's gonna pick, oh right, cause she snuck that. Oh yes. She's gonna try to get to the tower and light that candle. And then poor Brienne is gonna have to sneak in here and fight other people off to save Sansa. <laughs> she really knows how to pick a time. She's gonna see the tower light up now, isn't she? I think it's hilarious that she's gonna wait for Sansa to light the candle, even though she clearly needs her help, but they're just gonna go. What, are they just gonna go? What are they doing? Are you kidding me, Brienne? Brienne, she's gonna, she's gonna treat it like Sansa needs help though. It's not going to be a siege, your grace. What? What is it? Are they coming already? Oh no. Oh no. They have so many more horses. This is so bad for them. What is Brienne gonna do? Is she gonna try to sneak in while they're all fighting? What's happening? What are you gonna do, Stannis, you military man? What are you gonna do? Oh God, this is bad. This is, people are fleeing from his group. They're already fleeing into the woods. He's done. Stannis is about to die. This is over. Oh, Stannis, you big time wounded? Yep, mm-hmm. Stannis, you got beaten for the second time and you murdered your daughter and it made no difference, you loser. Bolton has women fighting for him. It's Brienne. Oh, Brienne, Sansa called for you. Brienne. I was King's guard to Renly Baratheon. Brienne, Sansa's calling for you. Oh, right, that's true. She probably wants revenge. Ah! Wow, look at that karma. Came back around to get him since the very beginning using blood magic. It's just a shame because Sansa needs help and Brienne is not 
There. But Stannis deserved that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's this bitch. Ugh. But who said anything about dying? You can't die. Of course he can't kill you, Sansa. That's what I was saying. Ramsay needs you. Let's begin. Yes, stop! Theon! Theon! Oh, you guys gotta get out of here. Oh my god, Theon. The guys, run. Oh my god, Theon's back. Theon's back. Theon's back. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. What are you guys gonna do? You can't jump that. What are you, what? You can't do that. You guys are gonna jump into the snow? You guys are psychotic. That doesn't even make sense. I'm sorry. You would have broken bones like crazy, even if the snow was super thick and soft and fluffy and like multiple feet tall, you'd be and if it was hard packed, broken tailbone, minimum. Ugh, these poor girls. Ah! Oh, he likes to abuse them, that's great. This is horrible. Oh, she doesn't even react. I know that her hair is not that long, but how crazy would this be if this was like Arya? <laughs> Did she just change her face? Is it gonna be Arya or something? <gasps> wow. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Although, I don't know, are you allowed to use that girl's face? Is the many face god gonna be happy about that? <laughs> oh, she took the face without asking, didn't she? Oh, is that how it works? Oh my god. That girl has taken a life, the wrong life. Uh oh, what are they gonna do to her? Oh no. No, a debt is owed. <laughs> oh, they're gonna kill her? What? What? He was no one. <laughs> Oh, oh Jesus, this this is trippy as f man. The faces are for no one. Oh my god, this is so trippy. And to someone, the faces are as good as poison. Oh, there's Arya, oh Jesus Christ. I can't see! What's happening? Why is she going blind? Is it because seeing all those faces and it is causing her to go blind or is it the oh my god, this I am sick of all these creepy f religions man can we just have a normal religion i wish you all the happiness in the world i don't know if i trust her i don't know was there poison on her lips i just i don't know i'm just i don't know if i trust this girl still oh that is a beautiful dress though marcella holy do you think mother will like him um no but your mother doesn't like anyone and also your dad's probably gonna get thrown in jail the second you guys get back to king's landing she likes you uh, not all the time <laughs> Something I wanted to tell you. Oh God, you're not gonna tell her your daddy, are you? Cause that could f her up. We oh, don't God. choose whom we love. Oh God, Jamie, he he's so optimistic about this conversation and I'm not. I know Just what we're trying to say. Oh, she knows, she's heard the rumors. I think the part of me always knew. Oh, okay, she's not as naive as I thought. I'm glad that you're my father. Oh, 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 I'm happy that he gets to have this moment. Jamie has had a rough go of it for a while, especially after all the hard work he did. She was poisoned. Yep, she was poisoned. It was that she put poison on her lips. The thing is, if there's poison on her lips, shouldn't she be dying too? Isn't she about to die though? I'm confused. Or is she tougher so she's not gonna die? Oh, she has antidote, that's why. What a cowardly I wouldn't even let her kiss me. I, I don't know why they were letting... If I was Jamie, I would have been like, you are not going anywhere near her. You are not touching her. But I guess she put in work with Jamie to make Jamie think she had reformed with that conversation. Poor Marcella. That means Tommen might die of poisoning too. Because that's the second Lannister child of Cersei's to die of poisoning like that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how Tommen goes out too now. The Queen's closest confidant, the commander of the Unsullied, and a foreign dwarf with a scarred face. I do, I am worried about them staying here because I just feel like this city is so effed up at this point. You know, where has Varys been all this time? Poor, poor Varys. I hope he gets here eventually. Hello, old <gasps> oh, <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, guys. I have to, I have, oh my God, I have ESP. If only I knew someone with a vast network of spies. Hmm, good timing. The grand old city. Who could possibly have any experience managing such a massive, ungainly beast? That's true. These two. These two. It's a great pair. I can't believe that Varys showed up right when I was wondering about him. Oh, I'm so happy! Oh, there she is. Is her dragon okay? Is he okay? Yeah, he's gotta be in pain, I was gonna say. Oh, she's gonna try to command her dragon. 
you're hurting him. Be careful. He's in pain. He's tired. You know, it's funny. That dress used to be white. <laughs> I wish that somebody would set her other dragons free. I'm just not over that yet. Is she just going to wander off? I mean, wherever he took her, it's beautiful, I must say. Oh, God. Oh, God. Who is it? Where are we? Who is this guy? Honey, what have you gotten yourself into now? She taking off her ring and dropping it? What does that ring mean? They look like they're Dothraki. Are they Dothraki? Drogon's like, no, honey, you got yourself into this shit. I'm not helping you now. These are, these are definitely Dothraki, aren't they? Oh my God, there's so many of them. Where did they come from? They were silent until they were right there. You think you'd hear horses running from further away. Oh, finally, we're back with Cersei. Getting a little update. Every time I'm with her, I realize how thirsty I am. I have sinned. Oh, here she goes. She's confessing. I wonder what the punishment is going to be, though. I'm concerned. Your grace will be dealt with according to her sins. Yeah, and I don't know what the according punishments are, so this really isn't fair. I lay with a man outside the bonds of marriage, I confess. Name him. Oh, God, she's going to name Jamie. And then Jamie's going to get arrested when he gets back, and Marcella's dead, so that's a bummer. Your cousin. Oh. And the king's squire. Right, Lancel. Other men? No. He knows you're lying, honey. Your trial will prove your innocence. Trial? A trial? I will permit you to return to the Red Keep. Holy f really? After your atonement. Oh boy, here we go. What is that gonna be? They're bathing her very roughly. Okay, ow, Jesus Christ. That's not fun. <gasps> A knife? What is the knife for? Are they gonna shave her head? Oh, they're gonna chop her hair off. What does this have to do with atoning for your sins? This just seems like mental like, oh, are they giving her layers? That's nice. I bet the whole city gets some sick pleasure out of seeing her like this. A sinner comes before you. Oh, the people must love this. Oh, she's staring back up at the Red Keep, trying to get herself through this. To make her walk of atonement. Oh, boy. She's got to walk all the way to the Red Keep, huh? Oh, she's got to do it naked? Oh, my God. Shame. You know, I hate to say she she doesn't she does deserve this. <laughs> it's just weird. Wow. Before the whole city. Wow. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this religion. In Judaism, when you commit a sin, you just have to fast for a day on Yom Kippur and then all your sins for that year are forgiven. <laughs> you know, I would feel worse for her if she was a good person, but she's really a horrible person, so I don't feel that bad for her. I am worried for her safety a little bit, but Oh, they're throwing food at her. Lovely. Oh, wow. Where did they get all this lettuce from? Guys, save the food, okay? Winter is coming. <laughs> Look at all these people who you've looked down on. All these people who hate you. Oh, God. They spit on her. That was a real actor really spitting on her. I am, I'm just mind blown at the performance of, of Lena Headey in this because this is just so intense. And she's never walked these streets really either. She was always carried in a little box by other people. She's bleeding, isn't she? Wow, she's broken. Look how bloody she is. Oh my God. She held in her tears all the way until that moment. It's good to have you back. This psychotic ma maester is the only one who is happy to see her. May I have the honor of presenting the newest member of the King's Guard? What does he look like? Can I see what he looks like with his helmet off? Are we not gonna see him with his helmet off yet? Oh, he's gonna carry her. He has sworn that he will not speak until all his grace's enemies are dead. Did he swear that? Or is, is just, can he not speak? Because he's literally like a walking zombie and you sewed his mouth shut. Like what? Oh, he looks disgusting under that helmet. Oh, I can't wait to see his face one day. Oh, oh, what is this doing here? Is she going to admit what happened? Shireen. Oh, he only cares about Shireen? She's not, she doesn't, she won't say it. She's dead because of her. Oh, Sir Davos looks like a little sad puppy dog. His little lip quiver and his little eyes. Oh, he's too good. He, I just wish he could have taken Shireen and gotten out of there. It's one of the wildlings you brought back. Says he knows your Uncle Benjen. Oh, right. We're bringing up Uncle Benjen. Oh my God. Oh my God, Benjen. I completely forgot about that in the recap. Oh. Oh my god, really? Watch. Wait, this, this doesn't even make sense. He doesn't die, you guys. I saw him in the final ep I saw him in the one episode that I saw. That hasn't happened yet. He's not gonna die. Oh wow, these guys are the worst. The wa the Night's Watch are the worst. They're just the worst. They're a horrible cult. Ollie. <sighs> no, Ollie. You're a coward, Ollie. <laughs> 
This doesn't make sense. I could have sworn I saw Jon Snow in that episode. I'm so confused right now. Because that one episode that I told you guys that I saw, I saw Daenerys in it, I saw Peter Dinklage in it, I saw Sansa in it, I'm pretty sure I saw Arya and Bran. Like, there are some characters I saw and I could have sworn I saw Jon Snow. I'm just... I feel like I'm more confused. I, like, would have wept, I think, had I not expected him to just survive because now I'm just, like, shook. And I, like, I, I want to cry, but I also am like, wait, Natalie, the episode's over. Don't work yourself up and cry. <laughs> I must admit, I'm a little shell-shocked after that episode. Um, I was really starting to like Jon Snow, especially in the last season and a half. And I didn't think that he was going to die just because I could have sworn I'd seen him <laughs> in the one episode that I saw. But maybe I'm making that up. Maybe I didn't see him. Maybe I saw somebody else who looked like him because that's a possibility. I do understand some of the comments um, regarding this season being darker because this season has now ended with Sansa and Theon fleeing, Arya going blind, Jon Snow being murdered by his men, Stannis being murdered by Brienne, which was fair, but I mean, after all the seasons we've had building up Stannis and murdering his daughter, there's been a lot of creepy religions in this show especially in this last season and even that last powerful scene for that walk of shame for Cersei. It's literally a walk of shame. I don't know what else to call it. I guess atonement, but it's a walk of shame. I, I will say brilliant performance by Lena Headey because even if you don't agree with her acting choices in that, which I do, I think she did a great job, that scene in and of itself must have been so hard to do. I don't like, you know, doing any acting naked in general it's not it's a very vulnerable thing so i can't imagine having to have food thrown at you somebody spit in your face screaming at you hitting you and she's she she held it in that whole time until she made it to the red keep and then she broke down like she really held it in so uh brilliant in my opinion that's a really tough thing to do and i was very impressed with that performance and i I'm happy she got that coming to her, but I'm also happy that her story is not over because as, you know, horrible as she is, she leads to some interesting moments as a character. And I have a feeling now that Marcella is dead, I mean, one, she's going to get the news of that and that's going to wreck her. I have a feeling Tommen might go the same way just because now we've lost two of her kids to poison. And I remember that message from the witch that she went to when she was a child. We got that flashback scene. I don't know if that witch said anything about how they were going to die, but I, she said gold their crowns, gold their something else. And I think, it, I think she hinted that that would be their downfall, is that they were a Lannister, but I don't know. I could be wrong. But I'm interested to see what happens with Tommen and the Tyrells, all the people of King's Landing now that winter is coming. I'm really concerned about... Stannis' dead army right outside of Winterfell because I bet the Boltons aren't going to burn the bodies. Really concerned about a lot of the, <laughs> the dead corpses that are lying around that aren't being burned. Yeah. Really interested to see what happens with Daenerys as well because I could have sworn that that was a Dothraki horde that found her again. <laughs> and I swear to God, if we're just... <laughs> If we're just starting her storyline over, that would be really hilarious. Like, we're just going to marry her off again to a new call. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, lots happening in this show. And, yeah, with losing John, if he really is dead, I... The, the only way he could really come back around is if Melisandre does some witch magic to him and brings him back to life. Because th this is what I'm thinking, <laughs> okay? Call me crazy. You can call me crazy if you want. Maybe John's really dead and I'm in denial. If John's really dead and I'm in denial, guys, just say, John's really dead, you're in denial. <laughs> but if I had to guess, if I really did see John and my mind isn't making that up, if I saw him in that one episode, I would guess that Melisandre would bring him back like the way that we've established past people being brought back from the dead. 
like when Arya saw that guy that the hound should have killed and then he the guy brought him back from the dead. I wonder if she would do that for John because it is kind of interesting that she rode to Castle Black and that she's there. I feel like that's a little convenient. So that might happen. Or I'm crazy and I'm making excuses and I never saw Jon Snow in that episode and I just am in denial that he's dead. So it's one of those two things. I'm really not sure at this point. And we only have three seasons left. We've really been powering through this show. It has been dark and depressing and sad the whole time. And I don't see a way that this show could really end happily for me <laughs> or anyone. Like, even if I theoretically like all the next three seasons and I don't have any issues with them, I mean, I'm assuming that a bunch more characters that I like are going to die. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to be really depressed. <laughs> it's probably why I've been watching a lot of animated movies and WandaVision again, like Marvel stuff and nostalgic things because I just... I need things that make my heart feel good. <laughs> and although I like watching these Game of Thrones episodes and they're really addictive and they're well made, I, they don't make my heart feel good most of the time. <laughs> they're very sad. <laughs> but regardless, I'm still excited to dive on into the next season with you guys. And I'm excited to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll likely read your guys' comments once I've started season six, just so that I am I feel a little more confident <laughs> that nothing's going to be immediately spoiled if there's anything crazy that happens in season six but yeah a wild ride so far and I definitely appreciate y'all who have stuck on this journey with me so far we only have three seasons left and it should be interesting so for now that's all I have for you guys in this video so if you liked it please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.